Hey, what's up, metal and heavy music fans? It's Flight of Icarus again with MetalTrenches.com, and today we're talking about Nashville hardcore band Chamber and their debut full-length album, Cost of Sacrifice, via Pure Noise Records. And hey, if you like to be kept up to date with the best and brightest metal bands and albums from the underground and above, then stick with me by hitting that subscribe button down below. Another album that definitely belongs on my best hardcore of 2020 video, Cost of Sacrifice features most excellent fusions of dark atmosphere, highly aggressive beatdowns, and while it's not what I'd call a mathcore album, Chamber also definitely take notes from the classics in the genre with some of their guitar leads. The album kicks off with Fracture, which definitely sets the tone for all of the elements I just mentioned, chaotically colliding a rollicking D-beat with lots of great little noodly dissonant guitar breaks and always larynx shredding vocals. Chamber above all else is constantly going for the throat over the course of this album, ripping and tearing their way through gory viscera and shards of bone like some bloodthirsty apex predator. No matter what other influences are at play at any given moment, this mission statement of hostility is always the firm foundation. But once more, Chamber are able to build all sorts of more complex and interesting sounds, like a mask on top of these more animalistic impulses. It's like Patrick Bateman's well-practiced smile. <laughs> Another martini, Paul. In particular, Scar's in complex pattern really struck me in this vein with its surprisingly melodic elements amidst the viciousness. At times, these are highlighted on their own, and others sewn seamlessly together with the more aggressive guitars and drumming. I was very impressed with how well these elements come together, even at times briefly reminding me of Fallujah. That is before the mask is lifted once more as we go back into full beatdown mode. And then, of course, there's the math core illusions I mentioned in the intro. Cost of Sacrifice is chock full of these, making for a veritable scavenger hunt of references and influences. For instance, Paranoia Bleeds, in addition to having another great noodly riff towards the beginning, has a very bless the martyr and kiss the child sounding riff a little ways in that sounds a lot like the classic Memphis will be laid to waste. Lead single in Cleansing Fire is also definitely one of the more mathcore adjacent sounding tracks with its chaotic guitars. While never straying far from its steady 4-4 hammering beat, it does feature some very brain-melting pace changes and transitions that are sure to cause absolute havoc at live shows. R.I.P. everyone in the pit when this one hits. <laughs> And then there are plenty of reference points to other bands and styles as well. I already mentioned that surprising little Fallujah part, but there are others that stood out, like the frequent use of those Gojira slides, as I've come to call them over the years, on a number of songs, including that same lead single and Numb Transfuse. And then that very energetic hook that recurs throughout Visions of Hostility has some very stray from the path vibes. Of course, trading their Rage Against the Machine worship once more with pure joyless vitriol. And then there are some slower moments too over the course of this album, each perfectly placed to both give the listener a little breather and make heavy parts sandwiched around them sound all the more heavy. Impulse is the perfect little intermission right at the midpoint, but there's also the edge of every lie which starts on a loud note with some really killer drum parts.
before slowing down and really showcasing the extent of the dark atmosphere alongside a really killer bass groove. This in turn transitions directly into the noisy, sludgy, industrialized beats of Disassemble Reassemble. This one sounds like Godflesh collided head-on with a deathcore band. But in the end, regardless of what specific stylistic choices Chamber makes in any given moment, the guitars are a consistent high point over the course of the entire album, and it always comes back to that foundation of utterly destructive intensity. I give Cost of Sacrifice a 10 for enjoyability, another start-to-finish bruiser of a record that pulls no punches and always has something interesting to offer from song to song. I give it a 9 for musicianship, again the guitars are really killing it from the caveman riffs to the more technical ones, and while I didn't spend as much time talking about the drums here, there's no slouching on the kit either. And I give it a 7 for innovation. All said and done, I still can't really award any extra points in this department despite loving every second of it. So an 8.7 and a B plus for Chamber and Cost of Sacrifice. Easily one of the best albums this month, get it again via Pure Noise Records. Y'all, thanks as always for watching, and let me know in the comments what you thought of this album and where it ranks in your favorite metallic hardcore releases this year. And while you're at it, again, be sure to check out my own list of the best hardcore albums of 2020 so far. I will link it right there. And hey, just stick around in general, because I got plenty more videos coming right after this one. More album reviews, track reactions, tier lists, interviews with bands on the podcast, you name it, we've got it. So plenty of reasons to, again, subscribe if you have not already. In the description, you can find links of where to follow us on social media, our email newsletter, MetalTrenches.com, for even more reviews and content, and our Patreon and subscribe star if you want to take that extra jump to becoming a full-on supporter. Just a dollar a month gets you early access to content and just helps me keep this train a-rolling. Really appreciate the current supporters over there. But that'll do it for now. Flight of Icarus signing off. I will see you in the trenches. Welcome.